Hello, my name is Barbara Lloyd, and I want to share with you some of the observations and reflections for my research with faithful and lively congregations. Risk management is a common term used to describe different levels of risk an investor chooses to take in regard to an investment portfolio. More risk may mean more profit from high-flying companies or financial ruin. Less risk may bring lower but steady returns on investments. It's a bit like gambling. Risky behavior can get us into trouble, but life without risk seems hardly worth living. Moses, Isaiah, and Mary, Jesus' mother, all faced personal and spiritual risks in their lives. Sometimes the hesitation surrounding the risk involved the possibility of personal humiliation or failure to do a task God was calling them to. It often involved fear of taking leadership or of speaking the truth to powerful people. Jesus, too, was repeatedly confronted with risks to his reputation and his life. His courage was based on his deep grasp of God's values in the face of the empire ways of individualism, conformity, compliance, and profit. He audaciously called the 5,000 in Galilee to share the few loaves and fishes they had between them. This is a new economy. He turned the tables in the temple, challenging the corruption within in his own religion. And he dared to humbly enter Jerusalem on a donkey, exposing himself to ridicule and mocking the pomp of kings. He intervened to stop a woman's stoning, challenging the barbarity of popular punishment. Jesus took risks for the sake of the gospel, God's good news that all should be treated with love and respect and share in the wealth of our earth. The Christian call to risk our own comfort and safety for the sake of others challenges the ways of our world. Communities that take risks out of love and for the sake of justice challenge the powers of capitalism, consumerism, and individualism. We can choose as congregations and as individuals to live better with the promise of unending consumption and the inevitable environmental destruction, or we can choose to live well, caring for each other and the earth, and celebrating God's abundance for all. Becoming more open to taking risks as a congregation means letting children, newcomers, and everyone lead. It means being playful and joyful, imaginative and creative. It means acting with integrity and love, and witnessing publicly to that love. It means being open to failure and being seen as a fool for Christ in the eyes of the world. God may be transforming our congregations through play, imagination, joy, failure, and audacity. The Spirit is calling us to move beyond fear and survival to a reimagined way of being a hopeful church I found in my research that faithful and lively congregations were able to take risks out of love because of their sense of shared vision and because they were reclaiming their history of taking risks and by responding to challenges and needs in their context. These congregations developed an ethos which opened up leadership to all and they also welcomed creativity as a sign of the spirit and were willing to both experiment and take risks with worship and congregational life for the sake of love and justice. In the conversations to follow, you will have a chance to examine ways that your congregation might become more open to change and transformation by taking risks in the name of faithfulness.